Hello everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Seasonal Finishing Touches Volume 2. Now this is an exquisite collection. I think it probably has the nicest wreath that we've done for a very, very long time. And it's got three characters that we've never done before in the field and the way that they look. So let's take a little look around this. So first of all, it's a huge collection of beautiful designs, but at a very affordable price. This is our spring wreath. We've got the wicker elements going around the outside. We've got the beautiful florals and of course all of the flowers bringing it together. Now I'm going to go through all of the different dies because you can see there's a huge collection of them as I go through the board. So I'm just going to quickly flick through what you're getting. So you've got spring wreath, the bountiful basket, blissful blooms, whispering spring. Then we've got Leonardo, we've got Huey and Frida. So let's take a look at all of these elements. First of all, Huey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he has got the most fabulous feet. His feet are just adorable. He's carrying the eggs in his basket. Of course, we are in his wheelbarrow. Of course, we have got the reflections for you. And this is a set of five dies. So you've got five nested ovals for the eggs. Then you've got the wheelbarrow and there he is in his flat cap and his little feet. He's got his little bust, um, belt round the, his waist and of course a little pocket there as well. But that's the first of the collection. There is the reflections. A little bit of here alluding to the fact that we've got the reverse designs so that with these animals, you can have them facing either direction. Then the next thing that we've got, this one is Leonardo. Now he's leaning right over to be able to paint the egg. But imagine snipping into it the way that we've planned with our two Red Robins dies so that, in fact, this could be anything else underneath. He might just be um, giving the wheelbarrow a little touch of paint. But there's Leonardo. Again, you're getting two dies here. You've got the outline die and you've got your character die to go with it. Next one that I've got for you. Oops. Oh, and don't forget also those reflections. The next one that we've got for you is Frida and she is super busy. She's got the loveliest, gentlest smile on her face, a little butterfly sitting on the top of her painting stool. And of course, she's got little mushrooms and detail around. She's busy with her paints, creating and decorating for this spring season. And of course, our reflections. These are free for you to download at highlightcrafts.com. Don't forget to make sure that you do get those to make your work as beautiful as the images I'm about to show you. And then our wreath. This is the spring wreath. It's a big die, substantial. So I've already mentioned it's got those willow elements in it. The outline on the outside and on the inside. Two really clever ways of being able to create designs from this. And I can't wait to show you more of that in just a moment. The next one I've got is Whispering Spring or Whispers of Spring. And this one includes not only some of the roses, but also we've got the foliage elements that decorate the other parts and also those peonies. All together, although this says one die, you can see you've got multiple die cuts. So great value for money. You're never gonna lose any of the elements. Never, these pieces of the die are never going to get damaged because they're attached to that base plate. Your image goes over the top, pass that through your plate and it will actually or your machine and it will cut it in one easy cut. And then all of these designs are all on this one die plate. When I turn that over, this is a perfect example of why Swift dies are so popular because even these smaller dies here will never be lost because they're attached to the whole collection. So everything that you can see here will allow you to do some wonderful work with the next element which is our beautiful, bountiful basket. And all the different designs that you've got here, different sizes are created from this one packet of dies because you've got those nested image dies. These nested dies then take themselves to the images to give you this look and feel. So that is fabulous. 
but this is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to take the piece of card and pop that underneath so that you can see just how delicate this is. So those little eggs have been cut multiple times. The roses have been built into a basket of pure rose. And then the florals have been used on the sides to extend it. Just by taking a little bit of our construction acetate, you can create the design and the look and feel that we've got here. And the wreath, I mentioned and alluded to the fact that it was a very clever design. Well, by snipping into it, you can create this cascade of florals arching over our fabulous little painter. And she's on a piece of acetate to give her a little bit of movement and depth to the design. But she doesn't have to paint on her own because this is all part of how we build up to Red Robin's designs. The outside edge of this die has been cut using that outer edge and then it creates the actual die card or the blank card shape. More designs here. This would be a fabulous card for Nan and Grandad, not just for Easter, but for all year round. And we've got more of those free standard aperture cards bringing the design to life. But Wherever you put the elements, however you build these, this is giving you everything that you need, whether it becomes Easter or it's all about being at home, taking up your favourite hobby, maybe doing a little bit of gardening, a little bit of painting and relaxing. So let's put together a couple of little demos for you. I'm going to show you the first one, which is using a regular traditional card shape. So what I've got here is a set of panel uh, square pieces. They've been designed so that they mat and layer on top of each other. I'm just going to move these up. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to glue anything down. However, I do already have this Reddit prepared with foam pads on the back where I want to get some depth and dimension and double-sided tape where I'd like to keep the design flat. And then using one of the backgrounds from the two Red Robins collections, I've got here an oversized design because it's the illusion of a countryside and the, and the look and feel that we actually want to create. And then with a set of really pretty designs, I'm just going to put my with love there and, and then I don't have to worry about it. But I've got here our Mr and Mrs who are going to be in the countryside literally relaxing, doing some painting. Let's take that sentiment and move it a little bit further out the way. And then we can look at how we're going to place these, whether I'd like him further in the background and her a little bit more to the front. So we're creating depth that way or whether we want to bring them so that they're almost on a level painting next to each other like this. So they're really sort of doing their work together. I like the idea of getting some dimension in this, but this for me is a blissful Sunday afternoon. And of course, here we can see that we've got everybody all working together, beavering away. Got lots of these lovely eggs. Now, it could be that we're having an egg delivered to be painted. So you could put it, you could have it like this. I can take this one out and replace it with this one. It could be that he's come to collect the egg that's been painted. So we've got lots of little stories we can create for ourselves. But what I am going to do, he's going to be fetching this egg that's being painted. So let's build ourselves a little frame of florals. So taking the flowers, just a few at a time. I'm just going to build up my frame so that it's going to come across our card here. Just as you can see, like this, building it up. I like to lay out the design before I do any gluing and sticking. Once I'm happy with it, I'll then take my phone, take a little picture of it, 
And I've got that then to remind myself the position of where each of the elements are going to go. So little bits of extra foliage to fill in the gaps. So let's just get this starting to come together. Then we'll put some little buds in to get a little bit more dimension. I think we probably need another one of these just here. And I can take another one just there, put some of our spring twigs in, these just like this. And then I'm just going to fill in the gaps with a few little flower heads to just get that a little bit more dimension. And I would be putting these on some foam just so that we've got extra bits of detail and just a few of the smaller ones just to finish off the design. So you can see how you can very quickly build this up. But the other thing that, because it's Easter, which might look quite fun, is to actually put ourselves a little pile of Easter eggs and have these as if they're part of perhaps an Easter egg hunt where things are just hidden amongst the foliage. Of course, with two red robins, it's storytelling at its best. But there we go, with love. Happy seasonal greetings. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.